Welcome back to Empowerment Nursing. I am Ashley and I'm a nurse educator and this week we are applying our in the know chest tubes made simple. If you didn't catch our previous Facebook live we invite you to pause this, go back and watch our Facebook live where we do go over all of the different parts of a chest tube and then apply your knowledge to this question. Please do participate by commenting what your answer would be to the question in the comments below. And so I'm about to read the question here and you can see the dialogue above. The patient is recovering from a pneumothorax and has a chest tube present. Which of the following is an expected finding of the nurse when assessing the chest tube drainage system? That's a mouthful. Chest tube drainage system. Our options are A, intermittent bubbling present in the water seal chamber, B, 200 mils of serosanguineous drainage in the past hour, C, the chest tube is positioned at the patient's chest level to facilitate drainage, and D, all of the above are appropriate findings. If we go back to the stem of the question, there's a key word here, and that is expected. If you want to reword this question to make it simpler to understand, which of the following is an expected finding of the nurse when assessing the chest tube drainage system is just code for which of the following is true, okay? A, intermittent bubbling present in the water seal chamber. Is that true? Yes, it is. So we already know A is our first um, and correct answer and is what we're going to choose. B, 200 mils of serosanguineous drainage in the past hour. That is not an expected finding. That is not normal. That's not a correct answer. Um, if you watched our Facebook Live, you would know that anything greater than 100 mils per hour should be reported to the physician. C, the chest tube is positioned at the patient's chest level, obviously much like a catheter bag. We don't want a chest tube at chest level to drain it. We need to keep it below the patient's waist. And D, all of the appropriate or appropriate findings, or sorry, all of the above, that is incorrect. Um, A is our only correct answer, and therefore intermittent bubbling present in the water seal chamber is an expected finding um, when the patient is coughing, breathing, or sneezing. If there's continuous bubbling in that water seal chamber, we would be worried about that. So thank you so much for joining me um, in the know and for this and all the rest of the concepts simplified for your registration exam. You can check out our complete study package. Bye for now.